your favourite Geordie girl, Sophie Kasai. And guess what? I am here in the absolutely stunning Malta to celebrate the Isle of MTV. But Malta isn't just about partying and festivals. It actually has some amazing things to offer. So why not have me as your tour guide? So I'm here at the Maridiana Vineyard and I'm about to try the finest of wines. Because in Malta, this is a very hidden treasure. So I'm going to be trying red, rosé, white wine, and it might only be 10 in the morning, but who cares? So let's try the Malta wine. Guys, I've been waiting for this moment all day long. A well-deserved glass or four of wine. Let me just have a little taste of this one. This red. Oh, oh, now I mean, you can definitely taste the red grapes in this one. Oh, it's a bit me, this. As you can see, it's stunning. The crystal clear waters of St. Peter's Pool are absolutely amazing. You can see the bottom. And it is that remote that you can take a boy you fancy or a girl you fancy and tash on till the sun goes down. What a beautiful day and place. Next one, another glass of red. That, that's a bit like blood. Now that one's a lot better than this one. I don't really know the difference, but I just know it tastes a little bit better. So one of the next top tourist attractions is St. George's Bay, and that is right up my street. It's a perfect place for daytime drinking, sunbathing, having a swim, or you can even hire a boat out for the day. And on a night time, it gets even better with the top nightlife where you can drink, party, and dance till the sun goes down. Next one is Rosé. I love a good rosé wine. Oh, oh, I can taste the roses. I can taste the alcohol. This is my get a drink. And last but not least, guys, is Malta's capital, Valletta. These streets are amazing, picturesque, and it goes way back to the 16th century. That's nearly as old as me. I mean, before the Botox. But anyways, the entire city of Valletta is a world heritage site. It is perfect for any photo opportunity. I mean, if you like history, then get yourself there. Last but not least, white wine. I remember when I was a bit younger, you know, growing up at 18 years old. White wine was my Lambrini, but now I'm drinking the fine wine in Malta. Oh, sorry Lambrini. I'm all about this wine now. So there you go guys, I've took you around some of the most beautiful sights in Malta, but that's not it. There's plenty more to see and do, but right now, I'm all about trying this wine. Red, white, who cares? Cheers to Malta. Miss me mouth.